MLB Network brings you baseball from under the lights at Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Tonight we wrap up this three game series between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Philadelphia Phillies. The Phillies are looking to collect their eighth win in a row next. Jose Alvarez starts the game on the mound for the third and final game of the series. Dan, please, what's tonight the word on Arizona. it? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has that gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties, and if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. These Phillies, as they enter play here tonight, fellas, Fortune has been smiling on them recently. They're unbeaten in their last seven games. You know, Matty, the season's such a grind, and you fight so hard day in, day out, and you're playing against the best players in the world, so you know you're going to lose some games coming out of spring training. To get on a roll where you win seven in a row, a week of everything coming together, that's a special feeling. The next 0 2. And it's fouled away. Ready with another 0 2. Fouled away. The 0 2 once more. Well, the next 0 2 misses, and that'll move it to 1 and 2 now. Gotta love the battle we're seeing right out of the gates in this game. That's seven pitches now, and if this is any indication, we're in for a good contest here. With that, the batting order for the visiting Arizona Diamondbacks. Dan Plezak, who are you focused on? Well, there are very few guys that can do what Adam Jones can do for a team. He's got a five-game hitting streak going. If you've got to start those big streaks somewhere, I like the way he's swinging the bat right now. Great approach, very comfortable. Let's see if that streak continues today. Ready now for the Diamondbacks. Adam Jones is coming off a three-hit performance in the loss last night. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Strike two called on the inner half. 0-2 now. I guess he's really trying to measure that fastball in his first at bat, but you really never want to put yourself in 0-2 count if you could do anything about it. A swing and a shot hit down the corner, but this one will bend foul. Had plenty of distance, though, as it landed in the upper deck. A ball and two strikes. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Chasing after it is Williams. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Batting third, the left fielder, number six. So striding forward now, David Peralta. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. And they start him out away with a cold strike. A count of one ball, one strike to David Peralta. And set up behind the plate is Ricky Holiday, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Hey, D. Rowe, you better be up there ready to swing with Ricky Holiday behind the plate, particularly on that high pitch. Yeah, and I, I don't like that, Dan. As an offensive player, that's the one pitch. Uh, one sack is that ball is into the gap in right center. Should be good for at least two bases. And he'll coast into second here with a two out double. That's a pitch he'll look back on and relive tonight when he's lying in bed. A pitch away from posting a zero in the first, and he makes a big mistake, and he pays the price. So now he's got to work on leaving him out there at second base. You pull a fastball like that, you got to tell yourself to slow it down a little bit, play more gap to gap, and keep that front shoulder square. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Danger averted following the two-out double. Bottom of the first straight. Taiwan Walker is on the mound for the Diamondbacks. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, we're going to get a chance to look at a guy that uh, he's a little bit up and down throughout points of his career. A Here career ERA four just Billy. over four. Not when he's stop. good, he can be Jeez. really good. And when he's bad, oh, well, let's just say he can be pretty bad at times. But it'll be interesting to see which one we see. He's a little bit of Jekyll and Hyde. Hopefully he's going to be a little bit more Jekyll than Hyde in this one here today.
With that, a look at the Phillies' batting order in this one. Who are you focused on, Dan Plezak? Well, Matt, I appreciate the way Bryce Harper plays the game. He's coming off a month where he had 30 runs batted in. That's one RBI a game. You always hear them say an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Well, I think that applies to driving in runs, too. Ready now, Cesar Hernandez. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate, to say the least. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Sent out to straightaway center field. Moving under it, Marte. He's got it, and there are two down now. Right. Harper. Stepping into the box, Bryce Harper. He enters play at number six in National League batting average. One of the best hitters in baseball, and he does it with some damage, too. Lots of extra base hits. He's in the top five in the league in slugging percentage as well. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Jones will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Still no score. Striding into the box, Wilmer Flores, as it'll be five, six, base. and seven Wilmer. due up to kick off the second Four. inning. First delivery to him on the way. In there, and it's 0-1. Upper part of the strike zone, a dangerous pitch with the changeup, but he laid off. Sort of surprising to see a five-hole hitter take two in a row for strikes to start at bat. Hit high and deep out to left field. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot here to left. Eighth home run on the season for him. And the Diamondbacks strike first. It's one to nothing. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. Eduardo Escobar standing in, standing in from the right side as he takes strike one. He comes in with that average down in the 240s. Five homers and 25 driven in. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. High in the air into shallow left center. Segura is there. One out. So here's how the Phillies are positioned defensively. And this team, they're not going to be moving around as much as some of the new age teams. The shifting and moving the third baseman over second base and the right fielder to play third base. This is going to be your stationary team trusting pitchers to execute pitches. Now the 0-1. Skied into straightaway right. Harper has a read on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Batting it. The shortstop, Nick Ahmed. At the plate, Nick Ahmed. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. One ball, no strikes to count. Now the pitch. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. In there, one and two now. Hey, nice job of bouncing back after the leadoff homer. Two quick outs after the bomb, and he's got a chance to get out of this. Hoskins in foul ground, and that's the third out. Diamondbacks hit the board first thanks to this solo home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's now 1-0 Arizona. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins, with the 10 runs base batted base. in on five Three. hits in the series. He's a guy to keep an eye on in this one. This one's down to third. And a good throw gets him one gone. Okay, here's how the snakes are lining up defensively. And let's take a look at David Peralta. Bazooka arm in the outfield, obviously. He was originally signed as a pitcher. Didn't work out. Reset the battery and came back as a big league outfielder. Impressive. 
settling in now. JT Real Muto having a very nice year, currently second in the NL batting chase. There's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year. And now pitch on the way. Fouled off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. Oh, I love watching a pitcher that can run that a good, good hard fastball in on a guy's good. hands and Mike completely yeah. lock him up. That's Rocco. such a tough pitch to do anything with. If you can locate your fastball there consistently, you're going to have a lot of success as a pitcher. Now to the plate, Michael Franco. And as you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Marte has it in his tracks. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Phillies down in order. It remains 1 0. Coming to the plate now, the pitcher for the Diamondbacks, Taiwan Walker. 9 1 and 2 do up. Taiwan Walker. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A high fastball is in there. Swung on and missed that strike two. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. One away here to begin the third. And with that we give you a look at what's happening in the NL East race. Marte. Digging in the switch hitter, Cattell Marte. First time up, he went down looking. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Now a rocket deep down the line and left. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. When it left his bat, I thought it might squirt foul, but it field hugged field. the line and found its way Adam. into the corner. Thought it might be a little bit closer play at second, but he cruised in there with relative ease. In now, Adam Jones, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Williams is under it. Two down. Now batter. Number six. Trying to pick things up where we left off. David Peralta, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. This is in the air out to right. Harper. One left for the Diamondbacks, but they're on top, one to nothing. Up next will be Nick Williams. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Pulled toward right center field. Calling for it, Marte looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. 
And with that, there you get a look at what's happening in the race in the National League West. Herrera. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. Last night was a good one for him as he turned in a four for five effort. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Right side hit hard. And the Phillies are into the hit column. Dan, how hard is it to massage your way through such a deep lineup? I mean, even the eight, nine hole hit are just solid big right there. You know, Mark, these days we're not seeing a lot of defensive specialists in the infield or outfield. If you're in that starting lineup these days, there's a pretty good job you could swing the bat. Into the box now, Jose Alvarez. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. You know, D. Rowe, coming from no a guy batter, that made his living two. throwing a baseball, Just anytime a pitcher gets a base hit, I know that Just wasn't hit hard, but it's going to go down as a bullet in the scorebook. Yeah, 100%. I know it's frustrating to watch the opposing pitcher get a knock, kind of the knock you expected. But you know what? He put the ball in play, and now he causes a problem. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Tried to check it, and it's 0 and 1. With runners in scoring position this season, Segura is hitting over 330. Nothing to scoff at, clearly. These are the stats the oppositions look at, being great with runners in scoring position. He has certainly been that, and he's able to slow the moment down. And he checks his swing. Did he go around? Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike two. Runners are at the corners with one man out. He'll try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. For me, check swings are right there next to bang bang place at first as the most difficult calls for an ump to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up. Cesar Hernandez. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. On now to the top of inning number four. D backs out in front, one to nothing. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Matt, during the commercial break, I had a chance to catch up with manager Tori Lovello about the Diamondbacks' offensive production, and flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said he's been really happy with how many balls they've hit hard and on a line. Looking at the numbers, they've had seven total line drives, and even though some of those have resulted in outs, he says it's that kind of consistent contact that leads to W's in the standings. All right, Heidi, thank you. And that's in there as well. 0 and 2 now. Fastball called strike three. And there's the first out of the inning. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. Now back. that's his fifth Second strikeout baseball. in this Wilbur series alone. Flores. Standing in now, Wilmer Flores. As he'll take a change up here for strike one. Rock solid performance up to this part of the ball game right now. One of the keys, 90% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And when you do that, you really make the hitter swing at. And he'll make the count. Oh, check that. He didn't look it into his glove, and the ball drops in. Well, sometimes you just have to shake your head on the plays like this. Looked like he was there in it's plenty of time, had a beat on it, but he must have just lost concentration for a split second, and the ball falls. Should have made that play, though. Eduardo Escobar comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Not sure if that was a great take or if he got locked up on a two-seamer running away, but either way, it worked out well for him. That's a well-thrown pitch, though. Under it now is Segura, and he's got it. Two away now. That's now exactly batting. what they Get wanted out of that Alex. pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. Well-executed pitch there. Alex Avila is at the plate as it's a strike one and one. 
That's strike two on a well-placed changeup around the knees. He's looking pretty good. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. One left for Arizona, but they're up one to nothing. And now Bryce Harper flied out at his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And another foul ball. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. I think he kind of trained the hitter's eyes in that at bat. What I mean is you'll find the first three pitches are all down around the knee. So as a hitter, he's probably looking down there again. And that's the perfect time to raise his sights and make a good pitch up. He's 0 for 1 thus far. and one count and the pitch and he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul into the windup here comes the 0 2 pitch and that's a swinging strike three in the dirt and he makes the throw to first Hoskins is retired two down now now batting catcher JT. Riding in Real once again, Muto. JT Real Muto will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Here comes the first pitch. This is hit softly to third. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They trail this one, one to nothing. Up next for Arizona, Nick Ahmed, 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Ball one to start the at bat. Takes this the other way to right, and that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Hey, right here, anytime the leadoff hitter gets on in front of the pitcher, it puts the defense on notice. You're going to see the third baseman creeping in. You're going to see the first baseman crashing, trying to get that out at second base. But if not, make sure of one. And the pitcher is, in fact, bunting here as he puts this one down. Segura for one. On to first, and they turn the double play. The That's the last thing you want to happen when you're trying to bunt a guy into scoring position. He got it down, but you have to deaden the ball, too. Otherwise, these infielders just eat it up and turn it into a double play. In now, Cattell Marte. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He's one for two in this one. Hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. Easy take there as the off-speed pitch misses well inside. One run, four hits. No errors so far for the Diamondbacks. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three. And the inning is over. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Wachney. Matt, I had a chance to catch up with manager Gabe Kapler during the commercial break about the Phillies offense. And he told me that they have to find a way to be more patient at the plate. He talked about how it's been one first pitch out after another, and that's been extremely frustrating to watch. They like to encourage their hitters to be aggressive, but to do so selectively. That means swinging at good pitches to hit, and given the eight first pitch the outs they've hit into, that Mike doesn't Cass. appear to be the case today. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. First offering on its way. Lifted into center field. 
Marte has it, and it's a quick out number one. Now batting left fielder, Nick Williams. Ready for another chance? Nick Williams comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh, Zero. missed that one by a mile. It's 0 and 1. I know we want to focus on the offense and how bad they've been so far, but can we give some love to the pitcher? He has had these guys in the rocking chair all day. That's lifted the other way out to left. Peralta is under it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now batting center fielder, Ogubo Herrera. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Rounded softly down the line toward first, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Well, he's done a great job on the hill throughout this game, and it's something to be proud of anytime you can pitch a good game in this ballpark, especially when it's not your home ballpark. 0 and 1, here it comes. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Marte ranging back for the track. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Phillies down in order. They're down 1-0. Now batting Adam Jones. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Number 10, Adam Jones. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. And Jones takes this one for a ball, one and one. Breaking ball drops right in the shoot for a strike. Oh, he thanks his lucky stars right there, getting away with that hanger. I cannot believe he didn't pull the trigger on that pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And the sixth inning opens with a flyout, one away. Now batting, number six. Now with the plate, David Peralta. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch on its way. Uh, had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. The 0 1 pitch. Swing and a drive to right by Peralta. This one's got some carry. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo shot that time for the former pitcher David Peralta. Eighth home run on the season for him. And Arizona moves out in front now, two to nothing. Boy, this guy's hot right now. Hit a bomb yesterday and hit another tape measure shot today. When he gets hot, he hits him in bunches. This could be the beginning of one of those extended hot streaks. Jake Lamb standing in now. And the starter the remains out there covered. despite One, just two. allowing the long ball. Jake. We thought maybe they'd go and get Lamb. him, but no indication of that yet. Yeah, to me, that home run was a sign that he's starting to get a little bit tired out there. It was a good pitch to hit, and it's typically the command that starts slipping when you're fatiguing a little bit. So I can't see him being out there the much longer. Major. Wilmer Flores. Wilmer Flores will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. First pitch coming here it is. No balls and a strike to count. On its way the 0 1 pitch in there and he's ahead 0 2 now. When you're facing a guy with this many pitches in his repertoire I say throw everything out 0 2 he's sitting fastball. Hoskins is there and the side is retired. One for the Diamondbacks and it comes courtesy of the long ball. Bottom of the sixth is straight ahead. It's now 2 nothing Arizona. Andrew McCutcheon is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. 
Okay. He's got that average pushing up near 360 now. Three homers and 14 driven in. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. Hey, he's been able to pound that zone all night, working that outer half of the plate. That's why he's having so much success. The 0 2 home. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Jones is under it, makes the play one away. Now batter, the shortstop, G. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Gene Segura. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Line drive to left. Peralta is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number Up next two. For Philadelphia, the second baseman, Cesar Hernandez. 0 for 2 for him to this point. First pitch of the at bat. Liner toward right center. Marte is there and it's a very quick inning as the side is retired. Three up three down for Philadelphia. They're still down it's two nothing. Welcome back to Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. We're on to the seventh with the Diamondbacks out in front. And before we get the inning underway let's get a look at our game summary to this point. Jared Eikhoff is Your on to pitch from please. the bullpen now to start now inning number seven. The Philly. Number 48. Jared. At the plate and Warner Escobar. They'll start things out against Jared Eikhoff as this inning gets underway. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1-0. Eduardo Escobar. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. And he will make the catch here on the edge of the warning track as he was just able to now get back it. there and put it the away catcher. for the first down. Alec. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Here's the catcher, Alex Avila. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0 and 1. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball, 1 and 1. The 1 1. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground, but a foul ball. 1 and 2 the count now. The 1 2. And he fouls this one off. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Popped him up. Segura shading to his right. And that's the second out of the inning. The bat, number 13. Shortstop, Nick Ahmed. Ready once again, Nick Ahmed. Career line against Jared Eikhoff. He's gone three for four. He also has one home run. Nope. And they start him out with a slider. Good spot, but he doesn't get the call. 1 and 0. Oh. Perhaps a little low there. It's 2 and 0. Oh. Eikhoff features one of the biggest yackers in the game. Curveball's got a ton of movement. The 2 1. Is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Two runs, five hits. No errors so far for the Diamondbacks. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Walks are never good, but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like. And the right fielder is there to make the catch, and the inning is over. So one, two, three go the Diamondbacks. But they hold a two nothing lead. He 
in now. Bryce Harper. They'll lead it off here against Taiwan Walker. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. Into the shrubbery and gone. A solo home run off the bat of Bryce Harper. Number 21 for him on the season. And the Phillies have cut the lead in half. It's now a 2-1 game. This is an all familiar sight, something we've seen all season long. When they need a clutch hit or an offensive blast, he's their go to guy. And this is just one example in a long line of many. He's fun to watch. Into the box now, Reese Hoskins. And it's fouled away. No hits to this point. Wind up and the 0 1. Skied into very shallow right. Jones has it in his sights. One away. Now batting. Catcher. JT. Real Muto. Stepping up now. JT Real Muto. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. Here's the first pitch to him. Line softly toward the hole. And there are two away now. The third baseman, number seven. Michael Franco. Stepping in, Michael Franco. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hit out toward second. Flores has it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. But the Phils draw a bit closer thanks to this solo home run. Seven complete here tonight. It's the D-backs two, and the Phillies one. Christian Walker please. is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eighth. Number 53, Christian Walker. Heading out towards shallow right. And that's a base hit, so he does his job off the bench here to open up the eighth. Boy, it's so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the it's inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, D-Row, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player. Fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. Stepping in now, Patel Marte. Now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And he is in there. Well, he took a risk now with that. the decision to Wait, throw to second instead of taking the sure move. out at first. Not sure if someone was yelling for him to go to second, but we know now it was the wrong call. Into the box, Adam Jones. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, he, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Little chopper back to the mound. And he indeed takes only the out at first as the runners move to second and third with one away now. Had now to batting. protect there with two strikes. And he just got it off the end of the bat. Not much of a problem for the infield at that point. David Peralta will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here. A solo home run that was really one of the key at bats of the ball game to this point. First pitch on its way. 
Starts him out with a curveball for a strike. To me, getting ahead 0-1, it, it's the most important pitch in the game, Matty. I, it puts the hitter on the defensive. I can only think of myself being in the batter's box. When I'm sitting 1-0, I am all over the gas, or I am allowed the opportunity to sit on something without... And a run on the sacrifice fly as that'll make this a 3-1 game. The first base Every team the first is 22. looking for that insurance Jake. run late in the game. Land. That run right there gives them a two-run lead heading into the late innings. Into the box, Jake Lamb. Uh, so way down a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. Career line against Jared Eikhoff. He's gone three for six. One ball and one strike to the Diamondbacks' first baseman. There's a curveball, but it misses well out of the zone. Three and one. He's gotten himself into a little bit of trouble out here. Middle of the order up in a run scoring situation, and now he might have to challenge him. Going to have to make some good pitches here. Pumper is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Only one in the inning for Arizona. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. Diamondbacks lead this one. Three to one. Your Greg Holland please. is on to pitch out of now the bullpen in the bottom the half of the eighth. Number 56, Greg Holland. Digging in, Nick Williams. He's over two Will thus far in this one. Noah Fielder, Nick Williams. Here comes the first pitch. Pulled toward right center field. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. And the Phillies are able to get things started with a leadoff double. That's what you call a clutch piece of hitting. Down two runs, he puts himself in scoring position and brings the tying run to the plate. We'll see what they do with the base open here. This one's getting interesting. So striding in, Odubel Herrera. He's one for two in the ball game. He's set. Here it comes. Hit to first. Backhanded. Only play will be the pitcher covering, and the runner will advance to third now. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Aaron Altair will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Hitting for the Billy. Number 23, Aaron Altair. Slow roller down the third baseline. Escobar gloves it. Throw on to first to be in time, but meanwhile the lead shrinks to one here on the RBI ground ball. Good no manufactured run right there. Stop. Lead off double. Jeez. Move him over with the ground ball and just put the ball in play and let him come home. Make scoring runs look easier than it actually is. Gene Segura standing in. He'll try and start things over now with the bases empty and two away following the RBI ground ball. And a half-hearted swing there as he tried to go the other way, and it's strike one. Not much to say about that swing other than it should have never happened. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. And a check swing here, but he pretty clearly broke the plane, and it's 0-2 now. Pause and the 0-2 is swung on and missed strike three. So one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Nick Pavetta enters from the pen now to start the ninth the inning as he'll try to keep the Number score three, right three. where it is, heading to the yeah. bottom of the ninth. Coming to the plate now, Wilmer Flores. In his last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. 
Yeah. Laid off the bender there, but it's in for a called strike. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. When you play with fire, you have to expect to get burned once in a while. He's about as hot as you can get right now. They continue to pitch to him, and he continues to make them pay. Nice double off the wall here. Standing in now, Eduardo Escobar. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. and He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Mm, and he'll just watch that knuckle curve 1-1. One and one. For his career in this matchup, he's 1 for 3. Real Muto waits on it. One down. Up next to the Diamondback, the catcher, Alex. Avila striding in Alex Avila no hits in three tries so far he struck out once first pitch of the at bat on its way and a first pitch knuckle curve is a called strike 0 and 1 1 and 1 clearly staying away from him in this at bat with that runner in scoring position tells me they're trying to force him to reach for something and maybe roll over on it 1 and 2 now This is lined to left. That's in there. Base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third. So they're runners at the corners now with one the away. Number third. Boy, there's a bullet Short base stop. hit right there. But Nick. you have to hold Obvious. there, D-Row, to make sure that gets down and isn't caught for a line drive double play. Yeah, you have to play the game right there and respect the infield and respect the line drive. I know he wants to get a ribby for his buddy, but that's the way the game's played. Count now a ball and a strike. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive. You can pretty much count on a pitcher. He's trying to get back in the strike zone. And with two guys on base right here, it's time to grip it and rip it. There's Segura. And he's safe. Steven Souza will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 28. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Williams racing back at the track. A leap at the wall, but forget it. It's gone. A home run. So a three-run shot to left center. Home run number two for him on the year. And the lead is now 7-2. Ball's jumping in this one. That's the fourth to leave the yard so far. Matty V, this is kind of a mini home run derby. D. Well, ball flying out of the ballpark today. Just great approaches by both lineups today. We were around the cage during batting practice. Both were super confident, and it's coming to fruition today. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. So he sets him down swinging. Cattell Marte goes right down for out number ten. two in the top Adam. of the ninth. That's the third time in this game he's gone down on strikes. Not the game he was hoping to have when he was taking batting practice, but at least his guys are ahead. In now, Adam Jones. Line toward right center. And that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. So he waited now, till the ninth inning, Number but he six. comes through here to extend the hit streak. That was close. Yeah, Matty B, you see that wry smile of him coming out of the box right there. He knew what was on the line. He'd be lying if he did it. Uh, there's a lot of pressure on you because you're walking into that batter's box thinking, I have a nice streak going, and this is more than likely going to be my last A.B. He comes through in the clutch. A couple of RBIs for him already, and a chance for more here. One and one, here it is. 
And he'll try to pull back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Four runs here in this half inning. And there's strike three. So we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead as the side is retired. But four runs score in the inning. Three coming right here on the three-run home run. Last chance coming up for the fighting Phils. It's the Diamondbacks seven and the Phillies two. Yoshihisa Hirano, You're a six foot lead. one inch right hander, will now be the one to get the call from the bullpen here. Number Digging in now, Cesar Hernandez. He's hitless coming into this at bat, so the hit streak he's been riding is on the line here. Yeah, he's up in the double digits with it. You know, he wants to keep it going as long as possible, but this very well could be the last chance to do that. There's a look at the final line for the Arizona starter. He was on point from the get go this evening. One of the big keys to having a good pitching performance is not being afraid to throw the ball into the strike zone. And this guy certainly wasn't in this one. Didn't allow a walk all game long. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a ball line hard towards short. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. The first baseman, number 17. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Reese Hoskins. Fourth trip to the plate for him, and he's at risk of ending that nice hitting streak that he's put together. Yeah, chances are it's on his mind, Matt, but you just have to let that get out of the way as best you can. You have to approach this at bat just like any other. Otherwise, you're just getting in your own way. Hey, d are now you aware of this after that sure. knock right there? That's an 11-game hitting Real? streak. You, you no. think he knows it's at 11? I think he knows exactly that it's at 11. It starts off innocent. You just want to get a few knocks to get the hitting coach off your back. Next thing you know, you wake up, you've been sleeping easy for almost a week, eight days. Now we're on 11? This guy's dinner tastes different. This one's blooped out toward right center field, and no one can corral that one base hit. The runner from second crosses the plane. Hey, Dero, they're making this guy pay. That's three straight singles now and a run driven in. Yeah, basement. nothing hit extremely right hard. Killing them softly, station to station with those knocks. Archie Bradley complete. comes on here looking now, to get the final two down. outs and earn the save. Number 25, Archie. Bradley. Stepping in, Michael Franco. And these guys are making a little push here. You have to like the effort despite the odds. Yeah, you really do, Matt. Look, they still have a significant hill to climb, but hey, they string a couple of hits together here, and all of a sudden, this thing feels doable. First delivery to him on the way. There's a ball into right center field. That's going to be a base hit. Huskins rounds third and is digging for the plate. He scores as they close the gap to three now. And he'll reach second now with one away. The left fielder, never say never yeah. in this game, folks. It's Real late job. and the clock is ticking. But that RBI double might start making believers out of the entire dugout. We'll see if they can build on it and maybe get back into this thing. So a pivotal moment here and digging in now, Nick Williams. But a single here could reduce the deficit to only one. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. A bouncer to the left side. Ahmed fields it cleanly. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Two runs already home, and now you can make it three. It. Good job Look right there of keeping it simple oh, and putting the ball in play. Oh, we're Into the box now, Odubel Herrera. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Pulled toward right center field. 
He's got it, and the Diamondbacks will salvage at least the finale in this three-game series as the ball game is over. He's proven to be an awfully reliable reliever this season. He wraps this one up and collects his 20th save of the year so far. 7-5 tonight's final. Arizona put up four runs in the ninth inning to carry them to the victory. Taiwan Walker earns win number four, four the on the season. Tonight.